place into perspective for me what Otani's done so far for the Angels. <laughs> He's one of the most talented human beings who has ever played baseball. I think it's that simple. Uh, he throws a baseball 100 miles an hour. Uh, over his first two starts, he had a stretch where 34 consecutive hitters came to the plate and didn't get a hit. He hit homers three games in a row when they let him swing a bat. He hit a home run off Cy Young, <laughs> Corey Kluber, and he's one of the, say, 10 fastest players in baseball. I mean, we just don't see human beings who can do the things he's doing. So the question is, is how sustainable is it over a 26, you know, weeks, over, over a season that goes, you know, obviously as many months as it goes? Well, you, you remember there was, uh, there was quite the frenzy over the winter of teams trying to sign him, yep. and that's why. Um, those teams expected this. Um, I've talked to scouts who watched him play in Japan 40 or 50 times, and they expected this. Now, look, there's a lot of information in the game. It's, it's harder to succeed now than at any time because if there's any flaw, any flaw that you have, the sport will figure it out and figure it out fast, and they will test you. And he will be tested. It can't possibly keep up like this. He'll be the greatest player who ever lived. But can he sustain it? He's 23 years old. Um, this, is, this is his skill set. This is his track record in Japan. I think most people who have seen a lot of him would be surprised if he didn't, not if he did. Give me the odds of this happening, Jason Stark. That your starting pitcher for the American League All Star team and your third place hitter for the American League All Star team starter is the same guy in DC. <laughs> Seriously, what I, do you think? I hope you're right. I like his chances of making the team at, at this rate. Um, I I just worry that the Angels might want to step in and say he can do one or the other and not both. That would be awful. Let's let, let's start the campaign right now, okay? Well, what's more likely to happen: twenty wins or thirty homers from him? Uh, I will go 30 homers just because nobody in baseball won 20 last year. And, and you know, the, the way that pitchers are treated this year, the number of times they're allowed to go through the lineup, mm -hmm. it, it's almost impossible to win 20 anymore. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.